Amazon might not just be an evil corporation, it's also pretty prude because recently it has prohibited two Twitch streamers from utilizing the platform. Um, Amaranth and Indie Fox uh, are two Twitch streamers who've been banned after they shared videos of themselves licking microphones, which according to Twitch is too sexy. Um, so I wanna read, this is from uh, The Verge. Uh, they said Twitch declined to explain why either streamer was banned, but the reason seems to be a breach of Twitch's restrictions on quote, sexually suggestive content. The rules ban behaviors like erotic dances, showing sex toys for purposes other than education. <laughs> Which I really, anyway, um, and perhaps most relevant in this case, posing in ways that quote, deliberately highlight a person's quote, breasts, buttocks, or pelvic region. Which feels a little gendered and a little like it's, anywho. Um, and so just some information on this before we come out and decide, you know. Um, as much as 30%, 38% of all Twitch app users in la the last year were aged 10, between 10 and 19. That's according to Statista. So it's a younger audience, right? And here you have suggestive, it looks like no nudity, but licking of microphones. There you see <laughs> one, I think it's Amaranth uh, wearing <laughs> leggings and uh, licking a microphone on a bed. There we go. There's there's another there's another photo of her. So <laughs> I'm gonna ask. The, okay, so this is this is a tweet that she Amaranth tweeted out. She says, "I've been banned on Twitch. One like equals one second shorter ban." Uh, and then drops her OnlyFans. Uh, good for her, <laughs> <laughs> making up for the lost uh, revenue. But what do you guys think? I'm gonna ask. There, there we got a poll. Um, Tyt.com/polls. Um, <laughs> Do speaking you think Twitch, use, Twitch user, yeah, speaking of polls, <laughs> should, should these Twitch users be banned for being too sexy? Is it, it's a young audience, what, what do you guys think? You know, I, on a level, on a certain level, somebody like me who's completely liberal about all of this stuff, like I don't think an eight year old will die from having seen a breast. I know because I was eight and I had seen breasts while I was eight and I'm somehow lived to you tell the to story. Tell about it? <laughs> yeah, like I don't think that it's that big of a deal. But at the same time, you know, parents don't want their kids to be exposed to sexual content without their supervision, right? We've all been watching 90210 with our parents and then they covered our eyes to make sure we didn't see the, you know, the love scene when we were younger. Like we all remember those stupid moments in movies when a love scene would happen and it gets extremely awkward mm -hmm. in the house, but at least those are supervised. So I kind of get it, but I gotta say, friend, I was trying to show the man bulge on my next Wozniak Twitch stream, <laughs> but I guess that's out the window. Yeah, I mean, for, for like, as you pointed out, with stuff like this, I mean, Twitch is such a huge platform for the most part. Things like this, who would have even have really seen it? Um, but, you know, we're so exposed to sexualization in all types of ways. You know, people are just casually making OnlyFans accounts. Um, you know, and the porn industry is so big, as Wise, as Wise was saying, you know, it, you really can't get away from it. So, you know, I, I understand Twitch has its, you know, um, they have their regulations, they have their policies. But ultimately, I mean, who cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> who cares? It's not like if, if, if people want to see sexualization, it, it, you know, I mean, what is it? Isn't porn still like the, the, the largest search category of anything on the internet by far and away? You know, so. Oh, yeah, people, it, it's a. Uh... I don't know if Bezos knows, but most of the internet is pornography. So yeah. like, <laughs> just exactly. maybe he doesn't. I don't. Who knows what kind of robots he's got on hand to you know help him you know you know whatever get some knock some tension off. But Jeff, that's the way the internet has been working, and not always in a good way. I will also say, look, I'm not a gamer, and I know it's gonna lose me a lot of. A lot of people who maybe didn't even like me in the first place, so it doesn't matter. But all games are are just obliterating enemies with like all kinds of automatic weapons, you know, in wow. random towns that look like they're in Afghanistan. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all about shooting each other, killing each other. It's all about violent video games. Yes, I am that woman. Um, 
<laughs> but like a nice booty in some in some like you know uh, stretch pants like that's like that's that's not hurting anybody. We're not hurting no, it's anybody. It's helping that. us. It's it's it, actually <laughs> helping us if we're being honest. Is we're being honest. and the other thing I'm gonna say is look I love Megan Thee Stallion. I love Cardi B. I love Rihanna. These are women who have incredibly suggestive um, YouTube music videos all the time, right? And people like yeah, I'm sure young kids. I remember in one Rihanna video like there was a kid who was like. My dad walked in on me looking at this and this is pornographic, you know. And it's like I don't believe we should be censoring that either, but I don't also don't believe that just like, you know, millionaire pop stars should be the ones who get to do that kind of stuff, you know. Um that being said, I don't actually know if any of these rules were violated. There was yeah. I don't see an, an erotic dance. I guess there was a there was a Pose. There was a deliberate pose, which, by the way, was if you do that deliberate pose, I know one person who would be very excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, outside of that, what types of on on Twitch, like what in in people's content that they discuss and talk about? I mean, can't you pretty much say whatever you want on that platform? I mean, you know, for so for the I, most part, yeah, they they let you pretty much do whatever it is. But you know, we live in America, and it's freaking was founded by some of the most puritanical people that have ever freaking lived, and that mm -hmm. legacy and culture still persists to this day. Like people are really scared of genitals. It's insane. The, the just sort of hysteria around sex in this country. Even in 2021, mm -hmm. we have to behave this way around any topic that you know might be sexual in nature. It's 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 pathetic, honestly. I, I like how you said though that you saw a breast when you were eight years old and it wasn't a big deal. And there's something uh -huh. that tells me that it like was a really big deal to you at eight years. Like now you're saying it wasn't. No, it, I feel like was, at the time you're like, that's deal. like the biggest deal. It was deal. a big deal. It was, was a like, big oh, deal. I, I was that 10 year old who stayed up late at night to watch Cinemax after 1130. Anybody who's around my age knows what went down on Cinemax. Skinemax. After <laughs> exactly. <laughs> BT late night. <laughs> of course, BT yeah. after dark, all of that. We all partook. There was in that a BT after dark. Oh no! Yeah, you, had, you ain't know that. You had to pay mm -hmm. for it though, no? Or it was oh, just no, 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 no. Had BT had, had a moment where they were <laughs> just showing these yeah, crazy yeah, videos. All you gotta do is YouTube tip drill, legendary yes. Nelly song <laughs> and yes. video. And yeah, uh, yeah shouts to BT after dark, man. <laughs> Whoever came up with that, genius. Yeah, so I do want to say though, my only problem is I don't have a problem with, um, you know, butts or boobs being shown, but I do have a problem with exploitation. And this is again where I get my, you know, a lot of people who are like, nah, you're just sense, trying to censor stuff. I'm not. I, you know, there was a story we didn't do this story a few weeks ago um, about Pornhub, and a lot of people suing the Pornhub, um, the like mega millionaires who now run it because there's a lot of revenge porn on Pornhub. There's a lot of non-consensual stuff that's out there, right? And so there is a right way to do. And quality is another thing, but let's just say even minimally mediocre porn. And for me, my trigger is, is it exploitative? If it's exploitative, that's wrong. And the problem with the internet and a lot of pornography and can't and content that's out there is it's it can be exploitative and it can be non-consensual. The thing with Twitch and OnlyFans is it's actually saving a lot of sex workers and people who do make money for with their bodies because they run it themselves. They're owning it themselves and they don't have to rely on a, an exploitative platform uh, or or let's say even a pimp, right? If they're sex workers, that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.